don't know about you, but I love classic TV shows. Let me make sure I'm raising my volume high enough so you can hear me. There you go. I don't know about you, but I truly love classic TV shows. To me, there's just something about watching the stories on black and white. It's just such a mystery feel. But more importantly, I have noticed there's usually a valuable lesson learn. Hi, I'm Jan. I love to help people keep some more of their own hard-earned money. Could that be you? Welcome to the Save Money and More with Jan channel. One of the shows that I truly love, now everybody knows I love that show that has the name Beaver in it, but there's another classic sitcom that I truly, truly love. Let's just say it's about a father that seems to know his best. Got it? Okay. There is an episode, and it involves the oldest daughter. The father has a wife. They live in the suburbs, and they have three kids. One is an older teenage uh, girl. A middle one is a son, preteen to teen son, and a younger daughter. Anyway, the oldest daughter, her character name is Betty, and uh, very highly sensitive intelligent young lady but for some reason she was feeling out of sorts she just felt like so many things that go on in life just don't add up don't make sense and for some reason or another she thought she would catch a bus to nowhere a bus to nowhere and uh, she just scraped up some money something like nine dollars went to a bus depot met a whole bunch of characters can you imagine getting a round trip ticket to a bus to nowhere back in the day? Anyway, well, that's what she did. She just felt like she had no purpose. She didn't even care where she went. She asked the clerk that was selling the tickets, you know, about places where $9 would take her. And, and the clerk looked at her like kind of funny. And he described the place. I forgot the name of the place. And I think the population was like, a thousand people, something to that effect. She was like, I don't care. I just want to buy this ticket. So she's sitting there in that crowded bus depot, all anxious, just wanting to run away. Well, first of all, we know you can't run away from your problems, but she was at that age where she needed to learn this. So her real problem was, I guess, that she didn't have a sense of important destiny. She didn't have an important place to be spiritually, mentally. Anyway, she met all sorts of characters there. One was this annoying lady. I have to call her annoying, who kept bugging her about how do you get a pillow, of which she called a pillar. <laughs> she wanted the pillar for the back of her neck. Anybody remember this episode that I'm referring to? Let me know in the comment section below. And poor Betty's just sitting there, all these people rushing back and forth. So an elderly gentleman walked in, and he seemed kind of disoriented. And he had problems with his vision. I don't know. Maybe he misplaced his glasses. He just didn't seem to understand. He missed meeting his son somewhere, and he kept tapping Betty for information. And it turns out that the older gentleman, he lost his way. He got off at the wrong stop. And like the gentleman kept asking Betty what to do. And she really didn't want to hear it. She just, between the lady with the pillar problem and this gentleman, she's just like sitting there. So finally she recognized that the gentleman got off the wrong stop and the son was supposed to pick up the older man at, at a stop somewhere else. Well, she said, well, just, you know, go back on, whatever, take the bus to that other destination. The gentleman had no money. He lost his ticket. He left his ticket on the prior bus. So what did Betty do? Try to get more information. She took the older gentleman with her. Meantime, back at home, the family was kind of wondering, like, where, where are you, Betty? Where are they were ready to sit down to dinner till they recognized because Betty kept giving signals that she's going to run away to this bus depot. And honestly, nobody except the youngest little girl was paying attention. So then the dad realized, oh, my gosh, where is she? So in the meantime, he's looking for his daughter somewhere. So she takes, so Betty takes the uh, gentleman to the clerk, the bus clerk, to get him a ticket. He had no money. So what did she do? She exchanged her ticket 
because she really wanted to run away. She really did not want to be where she was mentally thinking if you run away, it's going to fix it. Well, you want to know what fixed it? The joy in her heart when she got that gentleman on the correct bus to go home or to, you know, the right stop where the gentleman met his son and then the son could take him wherever they were going. And uh, the older man at the end, at the bus stop, he kissed he kissed the young lady goodbye, thanking her. And he wanted to give his precious umbrella to her to remember him by. She, at first, she didn't want to take it. He was like, no, 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 you're an angel. Please take it. So she turned around. She had the umbrella. Lo and behold, it starts raining. But she also turned around, and there waiting for her, looking for her, was her dad. Suddenly, she recognized the good feeling inside to have had a purpose, to have done something nice, to stop thinking about oneself, this random act of kindness. And I went over a little longer today, and I'm sorry about that. But for this point, it's, it's worth it. That random act of kindness was her destination. To be honest with you, today's talk turn into that. But I wanted to talk to you today about financial destination. What is your financial destination? Where are you going? Are you going to take a bus to nowhere? Are you going to sit at a depot and look around at people running to and fro? Some with complaints, some with attitude, some with, I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah. This can be at any time, at any place in one of those stations, right? But getting back on the road to financial destination. Do you want to be like that balloon that I talk about all the time? If you haven't heard me say it yet, it's those balloons that drift from place to place, place to place without any destination. We have to have a financial destination. That's why I call certain bank accounts, all of the bank accounts, name it and claim it funds. What is your destination? I cannot answer that for you. But do know it is very important to have one. Thanks so much for being here. I really appreciate everybody's time. If you enjoy content just like this, please let me know in the comment section below. But I always love to encourage people, let me find it, to do the following. Have an amazing, fantastic day. Take good care of yourself and your amazing family.